What is going on guys? Welcome back to the 3D Print Farming channel. In this video, we have the brand new Bamboo Lab P1S. I ordered this the day it released last week. It just arrived today. So in this video, we're gonna be unboxing, setting it up, and testing it out. And before I open this, I wanna note that this is just the regular P1S. This wasn't the combo deal with the AMS. I did order one of those as well. It will be here sometime next week, but this video is just for the regular P1S. So with that being said, let's go ahead and open it up. So I'm gonna finish setting this up in my print farm room. This is as far as I'm gonna go. I'll be able to remove those styrofoam pieces once I raise the printer bed, but check it out. This thing just looks like a black X1 carbon. I just love how Bamboo Lab printers look. They're so clean. All right, so before I finish setting this up, let's go ahead and check out what's included in the box. And here's everything included in the box. I'm not gonna to waste too much time going over this. Got some extra parts for the hot end, extruder, spool holder, Lubricant grease, thermal grease, an extra 0.4 millimeter nozzle and hot end. This looks like about 250 grams of PLA. Have the spool holder, display screen, and the power cord. All right, so here I have the P1S set up next to my X1 Carbon, which just got finished printing out some 3D print farming mini crates. I'll put a link in the description to where you can get these STL files. All right, so let's finish setting up the P1S. All right, so first I'm gonna go ahead and remove these three screws marked with these orange arrows. Now the next step says to plug in the screen. And we're pretty much done. Now we just have to install the spool holder and then plug it in. In the beginning of setting up your printer, it's gonna give you a QR code that you can scan so you can link your printer to your Bamboo Lab account on your Bamboo Handy app. It gives you the option to skip this and set it up later, but you might as well just do it now. So now my printer is linked with my Bamboo Handy app. It's reminding me to unscrew all three of those screws. Once I made sure they're unscrewed, we can go ahead and start the self-test on the printer. So now the bed will lift up. I can go ahead and pull out these styrofoam inserts. Now we're just gonna sit back and relax, let the printer do its self-test, and I will see you guys once it's finished. And there we go, self-test complete. Your printer is ready, enjoy printing. Just like that, we're ready to go. Super simple setup, just like the X1 Carbon. So we got a notification, new firmware is available. Of course, we're gonna go ahead and update this. And okay. All right, while the firmware is updating, I'm gonna go ahead and open up this PLA they included. And we're gonna go ahead and print a Benchy with this. And there we go, the firmware was successfully updated. Gonna go ahead and load up the filament and we will start the Benchy. All right, so now I'm gonna find the Benchy. I have a YouTube video posted of me printing out every single preloaded file on the Bamboo Lab printers. I'll include a link in the description. There's some pretty cool products on here that are definitely worth printing, so definitely check that video out. And where it, did I, oh, here it is, okay. 3D Benchy, let's go ahead and start it. So I got the Benchy printing. I'd like to point out that I didn't run any sort of bed leveling calibration or anything like that. I turned the printer on, updated the firmware, and I just started the print. And this is leveled perfectly.
And here's the Benchy, the very first print on the new Bamboo Lab P1S, and I think the quality on this turned out great. This printer comes stock with the textured PEI build plate, and you don't need any adhesive for this. I didn't have to use a glue stick or anything, and the adhesion was great. So the Benchy turned out great, but now I'm going to print out one of my own designs. This is the mini Chinese takeout box I released to the 3D Print Farming Patreon last night, and I'm going to go ahead and print one of these out. So I got the file sliced and we're looking at 52 minutes print time. Got the mini Chinese takeout box started. It's going to finish in about 45 minutes. I will see you guys once it finishes. And it's all finished. And just look how good the quality is. I mean, this turned out perfect. And here's a quick quality comparison. These three were printed on an X1 Carbon. The green one was printed on the P1S. And as you can see, the quality is very similar. They are pretty much the same. And the STL files for these new mini Chinese takeout containers were released to Patreon last night. So if you'd like to print and sell this product, you can obtain the STL files and commercial license from patreon.com slash 3D print farming. Well, this about wraps up the unboxing and setup video for the Bamboo Lab P1S. As you can see, this printer works right out of the box. You turn it on, load up the filament, and you're able to start printing. This is a great printer. I would definitely recommend it. And a matter of fact, I already purchased a second one and it's on the way and it should be here next week. Thank you for watching. Make sure to like and subscribe.